Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here and today I've got another HTML tutorial for you and I'm going to be showing you how to add in audio and video into your website. For the video we're going to just be embedding YouTube videos um, but you could use local ones and import them as well. Um, for the audio we're, go we're going to be using local audio as well. Um, by local I just mean in the files and not using a link from an external website uh, so yeah if you're following me uh, and you've watched the previous tutorials you should have what I've got fairly basic site nothing on it but if not the code that I'm about to show is it will work just fine you just got to put it in your code and work out where you want to put it uh, but as I got this tutorial page I thought why not just add in a tutorial video of mine um, so yeah, let's really get into it. So if you're following me, we want to just come in underneath this header tag. Uh, and we're going to be using uh, the embed tag for this. And this takes a couple of things. It needs the width and the height of the player. Um, and it also needs the source, so the video it's using. So if we add in width, and I'll just leave this blank for now. And also height, which I'll also leave blank. And we've got the source. Uh, for the source, I'll just grab an old video of mine, or the newest one, I'll just grab the link. Uh, we paste that in there, and you've got to be sure to, um, you just want the code after the equals. Uh, it means click that. If you just come here and delete it all the way up to the first slash, and you want to just type embed and add another slash, and you just want to leave the code for your video. So the ID really, the video. Uh, for the height, we'll just go with, while we're testing this out, we can have 500 by, so let's say 300 and see what we get. So if we save that and refresh the page, you'll see we've got this video in here. Um, so it looks pretty weird over to the left, so I'm just gonna make it centered uh, just by using the center tag. And after this, we'll just close that. Um, pull that back a little bit. Save that, and this should look a little better now. So there we got that. And just before that, we could add maybe a P tag, and just put in here uh, part 16. And let's see what that looks like. So there we go, we've got part 16 and then the video. So that's fairly good, that's the video. It's as simple as that. So if you want to pause the video, get a quick look at that code. But it's really just the embed tag with three parameters. And that is that for that. Now, if you want some audio, um, I've already, if we look in here, uh, I've created a folder called audio. This is where all the audio files will be stored. Excuse the name, <laughs> but I put in a uh, a random MP3 file in there, um, which we'll just be using. So, if we come back into the code, we're going to be using the um, audio tag. Uh, it speaks for itself, audio, um, and we also want. Uh, I'll show you autoplay because obviously when people click on the website we just want it to play but you can also if you don't type autoplay it will like give you like the player and you've got to press play on the player yourself um, and I want it to loop as well uh, so underneath there we want to close the audio tag real quick and inside here um, we want we need to find the source that we're going to be using. So source src equals, and we want to look inside the audio folder that we got, um, slash, uh, and I call it fuck.mp3. Uh, pretty random name, but that is what came to mind. Um, but we don't want, if we want it to auto play, we don't really want to see the player, because if it's auto play, the player will still just be displayed, and we 
really don't need that. So if we just come above the audio tag and type div style uh, equals and inside these uh, speech marks we want to type visibility um, and then the colon and we just want to type hidden uh, and after the final audio tag we just want to close the div tag off now basically because it's wrapped in this visibility hidden uh, it won't be seen on the page uh, but it will still play the sound so if we play this it will create some sound and you'll see we got these little bars at the top which indicate that it's got sound so I'll pause that and they go but if we refresh the page now you see we got some sound playing you you probably can't hear it but I can hear it in my headset we got the song that I put in playing um, nothing you can see on the page it's just auto playing in the background uh, so I'm gonna get off that because it is fairly annoying um, so yeah that's really it for this video I mean if you did like it um, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time